What's going on? So today we're going to be uh, doing a long awaited video and I do apologize for the wait between the Adidas V2 350 Zebras. We're going to do replica versus retail. Now, if you cannot tell which is which, the right is the replica and the left is the retail. This one is a bit tough, to be quite honest with you, because they've practi practically perfected the 350. I have yet to see a good pair of Pirate Blacks though. That could just be from the pictures I get from my seller, but enough talk. Let's shout out Balance Chugs. Let's get right into it. Now, to be honest with you again, this is a scary one. Replica on the right, retail on the left. The stitching is practically identical, as you guys can see. Now, I'm not sure if this has to do with the sizes, but on the retail pair, as you can see, the white comes up all the way towards the toe box, where on the replica, it does give a, a noticeable difference. I'm sure you can see that almost like a thumb. The laces are fucking spot on. I don't see any difference in the laces. The back tabs. To be honest with you, I think what I noticed on the back tabs is... Jeez, this is, this is a fucking really tough one. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um... So I think one pointer, and again, this could vary by retail pair, is I think the stitching on the back tab is a lot tighter, especially towards the bottom, as you can see. And it seems like they even forgot that piece of stitching on the replica pair. I'm not sure about the patterns in terms of the differences and them being different. I feel like each pattern is different. Don't quote me on that. If you guys do know, please leave it in the comments below. My goal is to just help y'all as best as I can. So if the patterns are the same throughout each shoe, then yeah, this black should not be here on the replica pair versus on the retail where there's no black. But if they are different, you're kind of fucked. Um, the insole is obviously identical. I mean, that shit is easy money. If anything, on the rep pair, it's a little bit more dotted. If that makes sense, you can kind of see the dots tad bit more um i'm looking for a flaw right here and the only one that i can notice is the retail pair just feels a bit more sturdy like you can see i'm kind of pulling on that bitch it's not going nowhere but the replica pair i'm messing with it you know it's just a bit more loose and honestly there appears to be more room as you can see look at that compared to a little bit of room right here um let's see if there's any difference over here i'm trying to see um yeah no no difference here um maybe a slight one so the stitching on the replica pair if you can see that is very 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 thin versus on the retail pair it's just a bit more white you know again that's we're nitpicking at this point this is very minimal flaws now some people say that they can tell through the text to me they honestly look like the same shit but i will say that mm, okay I've, I've noticed something it's not really super significant but it's a little something so the distance between the s and the p over here is definitely larger on the retail as you can see it doesn't you can see the difference now when they're compared side by side the l on the replica tends to go down a little bit as you can see that 
Again, that's not to say that this cannot happen on a retail pair. If you guys have seen that, please let me know. But you can see that it goes down a little bit, whereas on the uh, retail pair, it's just straight. The little dash is also smaller. You can definitely see that's almost a notable difference right there. The dash is a lot smaller. And again, the dash is more straight. Uh, the three and the five honestly look identical. Um, the zero looks fine. Even the spacing between them looks fine. Uh, for materials, the crazy part is cushioning on these is the fucking same the lining right here how it has some black in it is the same a bit if anything the retail might have a bit more black but again i don't know if that varies by pair um let's see the material right over here wow again identical um shit um, i apologize if this is becoming a bit more useless of a video for the this shoe specifically i really 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 do have to get into fucking depth if there like i said if there's any noticeable differences that you guys just know in general please let me know i feel like the shape is slightly different on the inside in terms of the stitching actually okay so there's another difference right here on this part the stitching on the retail pair is very 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 minimal you can see it but it's not super clear not super indented right and on the replica you can see the stitching it's showing it's white you can very clearly see it um also again very very minimal this area right here seems to have a bit of a, a rougher cut on the replica. You can kind of see it. it's a bit more rigid, not as straight, right? And when you look at the retail pair, it's perfect. And you can even see the stitching again. Let me try to zoom in. The stitching again is more noticeable. Now let's look at the replica pair. Stitching is less noticeable, and you can just see it's a lot more rigid. Um, now, let me see if I can spot a difference by the size tags, which I cannot. Um, let's do the soles. I mean, these are going to be fucking identical, to be honest with you. Um, so... The boost material is slightly softer on the replica compared to the retail. You can kind of see that. But again, that's way easier to notice when you have a retail pair in hand. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I can find definitely want to give y'all the best opportunity possible let's put these away i know it's just the other shoe but let's go into that maybe we can find more differences and see if the consistency is the same throughout the shoe so again the l is leaning a bit more like i ain't gonna lie i was getting mixed up but now that i looked at the l you can't really see it leaning too much, but it's definitely a lot more than this pair that is very straight. Let's get that out the way. Again, the dash, just slightly inconsistent. It's not even like a complete dash right there. You can see this one's a lot more straight. Um, looking to see the distance on the Q seems to be shorter compared to the um replica and i want to find a flaw with this i don't really know if i can though that looks identical 
Um, yeah, this is fucking spot on. Right over here, this shit is spot on. Um, I am gonna lift up the insole just to see if there's any differences. And they both come out, none of them are glued in. This is the retail insole versus the replica insole. And my god, that is fucking identical. Um, yeah, I don't really have much for that. Ooh, actually I do. So right here you can see the ridges on the replica pair. I guess this is the most noticeable one that I've seen versus the retail pair. It's only two little ridges versus at least, what is that, five? That's a big difference. So I guess out of all these differences that I mentioned to me, this would be a more notable one, depending on the quality of the replica. And also now I'm noticing another flaw on the replica. And again, this can come with age because these have released throughout many years. So don't 100% quote me on that. But this is a bit more milky right here on this spot versus the retail pair. You can see it, but it's like very, very, very small compared to, you can already kind of see that on camera. I also noticed one thing right now, but I'm trying to check for consistency and I don't really think that's too valid. But right now this insole thing is the best one I got. Um, to be honest with you, let's put both shoes up here. Stitching. Um, damn, very, 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 very close. Got to fucking relook. Um, I think in terms of the way the sneakers are stitched, they're practically identical. Look at that. Um, trying to see a difference in the material. That did not help. It, it almost appears as if the rep has more stitching, if that makes sense. So I guess that could be a red flag. You can see on the right, look at how many like threads you notice versus on the retail where it's single threads all the way up across versus the multitude of threads it has right here. So out of all of this, I think those are your top ways of telling. Again, the replica pair missed a spot right here compared to the retail that's stitched like X's all the way up to the top. If you notice that it is missing a spot, you know, you might want to look into it. I would lift up the insole and, and really go in depth that way. I'm usually not big into that, to be honest. Maybe I'll start considering it. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Because to me, I feel like they can just switch that up really quickly. Another one that I found, but I'm not sure if it varies by size. This is the replica pair. And as you can see right here, let me zoom in so you guys know what I'm talking about. Right here, this stitching there's um it's a small gap between that and this material right here versus on the retail it's definitely a bigger gap let me show y'all exactly what i mean by that so right here you can see that it's just very short boom and then over here it has a almost shit what is that almost double the space look at the, look at this compared to that so definitely notable but again not sure if that varies by size overall though i mean come on man these things are fucking spot on i had messed up like four times um the insole is is what i have is the main determining factor and that insole stitching that i mentioned prior i am gonna lift up these real quick just to make sure that that's a consistent um flaw you guys can look into so let's do that drum roll real quick so hope that that is a consistent flaw okay so this is the retail pair and again by that logic this is the replica yeah so that is consistent 
I'm not sure if cheaper reps have the same issues. And honestly, it seems like there is a slight color difference between the reps and the retails. There's an ant. Oh, he's dead. Um, you can't really see it, but this one's almost more pure white. This one's a little bit darker. Adidas Yeezy, that's fucking gonna be identical. But yeah, this is your main factor over here. It's sad that this is how close you have to get to inspect your shit to even notice, which is insane to me. Um, but yeah, I do apologize if there's a lack of, of help for this sneaker, but it's just very, very, very tough. Um, the toe cap on, I believe this is the rep, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the toe cap seems to be a bit more milky and kind of, shit, I would say a little bit taller to be honest with you. You guys can kind of see that. Also seems to be a bit more yellow towards that toe cap versus the uh, retail, which is very, very icy, especially dead stock. But you can see like it's almost double in terms of the size right here of all that black you can see under it look at that you can only see a little bit over here um that's also something y'all should look into and now that i'm looking more towards this stitching um i feel like there could be some flaws it just appears to me that the retail stitching is just a bit thicker if you guys can see that this is the retail stitching this is the replica stitching Again, they are practically identical, but it appears that it's slightly thicker. Um, even the discoloration, as you can see, there's like some pieces that are cream is fucking spot on on the replica. Um, yeah, like I said, running out of things to say, to be quite honest with you from how good these are again for like the third time if this if the pattern is different i i don't really know what to say but if it is consistent then you guys can see some of these consistencies and some of these flaws it also appears that the replica pair sits up higher or the retail pair i'm sorry shit look at that man this is this is embarrassing this is fucking embarrassing the retail pair sits up and, and just has a better shape and structure compared to the replica that kind of sits down a little bit. You guys can see that. And honestly, the replica pair is a bit too neat. It's too straight and too fucking perfect compared to the retail pair, which as you can see has some ridges to it. it got a little bumpy, you know. Um, try to notice any details in the stitching really quickly. Um, I would say for the retail pair, it's more prominent. You can see the stitching right here on the replica. Almost, almost can't see it versus on the retail. You see that it's white stitching, you know. Um, again... I'm running out of things. If y'all notice any other differences, please let me know. I appreciate it in the comments. Let me know if y'all like this video. Let me know if y'all want to see more videos like this. I appreciate all y'all liking, disliking, commenting on my shit. And y'all gonna have to see me in the next one. If y'all need that W2C, y'all know what's up. Just hit that description. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.